Hello. What a privilege again. I'm so humbled when I share the little that the Lord has told me. By the way, let me tell you something. I had a mother. Wow. An unselfish mother called Mary. Not the mother of Jesus, of course, but the mother of Lukundo Stewart, and Lukundo means love. I love you. Let's pray. Our gracious Lord, thank you for your love and mercy. And as we digest these beautiful mysteries of life that thou hast revealed to us, bless us with the spirit of discernment and power to do what is right. In Jesus' name, amen. Your body is more than 70% water. What about mine? The same. And God has created the vast percentage of the world with water. In fact, Christ himself says he's the living water. His word is compared to the living water. What about the physical one? Hmm. What is so nice? I like it. Did you know? In this country, we had two good years of COVID lockdown. And when I was estimating the amount of water I drank, guess what? More than 20 liter jerrycans. A jerrycan is 20 liters times 20 jerrycans. I drank that water in three months. I also marveled. Why? Because I was working so hard physically as I preached the gospel to the little community I was in. I was amazed. I ate 666 bananas. Very interesting. Water is important for life. And I did not actually become sick in either way, not even getting a flu, but rather I grew stronger. Why? Water is important. What do we have for today? Kindly subscribe. Give a like and share to your friends. Water is a very significant factor in life and in which way? When we drink water, it runs into the stomach first. Some may be absorbed by the cells depending on their difference of the salts within the cell and outside the cell. It will either diffuse or is transmitted by osmosis. But more so, it is drained within the cells or the stomach and transported into the bloodstream. Did you know that the largest volume of your blood is water? If there is limited water, in the bloodstream, what are the dangers? I am a scientist. I know what I'm talking about. Your blood will be thick. When the blood is thick, it will not move freely and natural. Why? Because you did not take a responsibility to drink one liter of warm water in the morning before food. That's your responsibility. God has supplied the largest percentage of the world with water, but he cannot drink water on your behalf. He rains it. Here is the point. When the blood is thick, it moves sluggishly. It moves how? Sluggishly. Listen to me, my beloved. I love you so much, and God, of course, loves us all. You begin feeling tired. I you begin feeling sleepy. 
you are a student, you are dozing in class, get out, drink some water. Your brain will remain a lot. Can you imagine? I've averagely I've been preaching 4.5 hours per day for 10 years every day. And people wonder, how do I do it? How did I do it? Of course, it is God. But God is not a virtue. He's given us the principles and things to use in nature. Hmm. Water is so good. I love water. I would rather not eat breakfast rather than missing water. When blood is sluggishly in movement, blood is a medium through which minerals, waste products in the body, glucose, proteins, lipids, different body cells, your immunity is transited. And so at the end, what was meant to be taken to that destination at 12 kilometers per hour, it's now going to reach at 3 kilometers per hour. So if the cells in the, at the destination in the legs they were meant to receive blood that contains life, minerals, vitamins, proteins, glucose. The cells may even die before the blood reaches reach, reach that very point. You get the point. And so, it seems simple, drinking water. Someone say, you know what, I'll be running to the restroom, I'll be going to the Come on. So you want your body cells to die. You want to be fatigued. You want to be dizzy. You want to get migraine headaches. You want to accumulate toxins in the system. And at the end, they may actually affect the cells, that the cells turn out to be cancerous. In fact, it's on record. When blood is sluggish because of limited water content, remember water is H2O. Repeat after me. H2O. H is hydrogen. There are two hydrogen attached to one oxygen molecule. So the more water you drink, the more oxygen your blood will have. Someone is like, oh, I thought we receive that by the lungs. Yes, we receive air. It has oxygen, carbon dioxide, there may be nitrogen, there can be ammonia if you're in a lab, but the body only uses oxygen. The oxygen is dissolved. That's another session I will do. The oxygen is dissolved and transmitted in a solvent chemical format. When you come to us complaining of headache, we will tell you, go home, drink water. We may give you some painkillers, pain reliever, but you see the point? Someone who drank water is much safer to save some money and much safer to be a blessing to others. Blood is not safe without water. Let me challenge your mind. Find out how much blood 
you have in your body. Information is everywhere. <clears throat> After finding out, then find out how much water is in the blood. You will be shocked. Take time to think and do the right thing. So how can I achieve much water in the body? One liter before breakfast. One liter after breakfast. Remember we said two hours. Why? Because digestion takes place in about four. So in two hours, half of the digestion is complete. Two more hours to go. So drink little by sip. Someone may be like, wow, they're enjoying a lot of water. Yes, water is life. Hmm. Thank you, God, for creating. So interesting. You want to spare your kidneys of failure in life drink water because water is a cleanser water is a solvent is a cleanser it performs various functions if you deny your kidneys of water you know what will happen there will be too much accumulation of toxicity or toxins in the system they may block the smallest pipes within the kidneys, the smallest pipes, capillaries within your brain, within your limbs, and you begin feeling numb simply because there's too much toxins in the system. Is water expensive? No, I believe it's one of the cheapest elements that we buy in the community. So why not give it a try? Drink one liter before breakfast. How? Two glasses, 250 mils, 250 mils. After 30 minutes, drink more. Two more glasses, you have achieved your one liter. I began practicing this in the year 2014 when I discovered it as I was studying the effect of water upon our system, our anatomy and physiology. I have tried it since 2014 and guess what I'm one of the happiest person upon this earth and I want you to be happy as well may God help you and may God give you the spirit of discernment I need it more even when I'm happy I still want to learn more is it your desire that God will give you the spirit of discernment to learn more and do that which is right? I need it, Lord. Let's pray. Our gracious Lord, thank you for your love and bless the viewer with your spirit of discernment and the power to do what is right. We love you, Lord. Give us the spirit of loving one another. Let your will be done in Jesus' name. Amen. Kindly subscribe, give a like, and share to the rest that we can continue learning and be ready for the next episode. Thank you. The Savior has come in his mighty word and spoken peace to my soul.